Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find an analytic function f of z in which the real part is given. So let's take the real part u equal to e power 2x into x cos 2y minus y sin 2y. Now partial derivative with respect to x will become, we are going to use product rule for these two terms. So first term derivative is e power 2x into 2 and second term we have to keep as it is. The second term is the full entire term. Again plus first term we have to keep as it is and second term we have to find its derivative but now y is a constant. So here x derivative is 1 and the constant cos 2y is as it is and once again here we have to make product rule. So minus bracket open y derivative is 0. Actually both are y term. So y is treated as a constant. So fully it is 0. So it is better we can write a single 0 here. Now we have to find u of u x of z comma 0. Wherever x is there we have to substitute z and y we have to substitute as 0. So this is z into cos 2 times of 0 is 0 and y is 0 everything becomes 0 here and here it is e power 2z cos 2 into 0 is 0. Cos 0 is 1 anyway. So we get e power 2z into 2z cos 0 is 1 plus e power 2z. So e power 2z can be taken common. So we left with 2z plus 1. As a next part we are going to find uy which is again product rule. First term is in terms of x so its derivative is 0. Even if I write the second term the first term is fully 0 and after that the second Plus we have to write the first term as it is and we are going to find its derivative. So here x is a constant and cos 2y is minus sin 2y into 2. Now again we have to use product rule for this term. So open bracket minus we have y derivative is 1 and into sin 2y plus y into cos 2y into 2 and bracket close. Now u y of z comma 0 we have to find. Anyway the first term is fully 0 and coming to this when I substitute y here as 0 this term is 0. So we have e power 2z into first term is 0 and second term is also 0 and third term y is there so it is 0. So totally u y of z comma 0 is 0. So f of z which is u plus iv and f dash of z which is u x plus i v x and using CR equations we have ux as vy and uy as minus vx. So this vx can be replaced as minus uy from this. So then f dash of z will be ux minus i uy. Now by Milne Thompson method f of z will be integral u x of z comma 0 into d z minus i integral u y of z comma 0 into d z plus c. Now u x of z comma 0 we got it here that is e power 2 z into 2 z plus 1. So e power integral e power 2 z into 2z plus 1 dz and second term is fully 
zero because u y of z comma zero is zero. Now coming to this integration, we have to do integration by parts. So we have a method called eyelet method where we have exponential and algebraic. The first function is taken as u algebraic, which is two z plus one. And the second function is taken as dv which is e power 2z dz. Now its derivative du is 2 dz and its integration d is e power 2z by 2. So from this the formula is uv minus integral v du. So u is 2z plus 1 v is e power 2z by 2 minus integral v e power 2z by 2 and into du is 2 dz. So we can cancel this and f of z becomes the first term is e power 2z by 2 into 2z plus 1 and this integration is e power 2z by 2 plus c. You should also put plus c at the end. Now by taking e power 2z by 2 common we have 2z plus 1 minus 1. So we can cancel this and we can also cancel this 2. So finally we arrive f of z as e power 2z into z plus c. Thus we got the analytic function f of z.